Didn't you already do this intro? No! The bad intro was, was this? Oh. No, this is the knee closer. This, this is totally different. <laughs> this is called the knee closer, you see? Okay. Where the knees don't get unattached. I like your shoes. They <laughs> Can you smell a little what the coolest is cooking? <laughs> hey, this is Nicole, guys. That's the Sassmeister being sassy. And this is how I lost five pounds in seven days. Did anyone ever ask you if you have ants in your pants? Not lately. <laughs> The friends, I recently did an experiment and I lost five pounds in seven days. Now, this was an experiment to see if I could get in the best shape possible. I would not recommend this for long term. Whew, I got like really hyper <laughs> and out of breath. Whew, I don't recommend this. This, is, this was only for a very short time. I did it only for seven days, and then I went back to my normal diet. I did it to get in the best shape possible to take some lovely pictures of my physique. And let's be honest, friends. Me and Nicole pride ourselves on telling you guys the truth. S yeah. Some of what we do is for health. Most of what we do is to try to look better. To look better. And if, we'll, if there were other fitness channels or weight loss channels that admitted that, we'd all be in a much more honest place. Yes, so I did this for seven days and I got in the best shape and then I went back to my normal diet because this is not sustainable. I don't recommend this, but this is what I did to get in better shape for pictures. So, number one, I drank enough water, but not too much. What I was drinking originally was two full jugs of water. These are 2.2 liters. I was having two of these a day. I went down to one jug and one bottle of water because what happens when I was drinking too much water, the scale would show the water weight and my belly would go <sighs> like bloated. <laughs> Did you like that visual? Yes. So I lessened my water. I drank the recommended eight eight ounce glasses a day, which is one of these plus one of these. Number two, I lowered my fat intake. I did very low fat and moderate carb. Originally I was having one tablespoon of peanut butter, half a tablespoon of chopped almonds, <laughs> And an egg. <laughs> what was the pause for there? Um, I forgot what the other thing was, even though I eat it every day. Fair enough. Um, and so, I took out the peanut butter, I took out the walnuts, I kept in the egg. That was the only fat that I had in my whole diet. I went to lean cuts of meat. Before we were eating lean ground beef, took that out, ate only lean protein, like lean turkey, lean chicken, that kind of thing. And I got really good results like that. Taking out the fat. My body responded really well to low fat. Number three, I took out my cheat day, but I kept a cheat meal in just because I was eating so clean during the week. So originally we were, I was having a cheat day every week, once a week, I would eat whatever I wanted all day, as much as I wanted until satisfied. For this week, I took out the cheat day and I had one cheat meal, which was four slices of pizza, one of those Ben and Jerry, what do you call them, pints? Yes. One of those Ben and Jerry's and a bowl of chips, about like a bowl this size of chips. And that's it. And then. You're getting your cardio in today. I'm like out of breath, like my. Number four, what I did was I cut out 
all sweeteners and any processed foods that I was eating. So any sugar-free Jello, the fat-free Cool Whip, the fat-free cheese slices, stevia, any of that stuff, including protein powder because it has sweetener in it, I took all of that out. And that really helped de-bloat me and make me a lot flatter in my stomach. <sighs> like, <laughs> no matter five, no matter single. This, number five. I stopped fasted cardio and did more non-fasted cardio. So when I was doing fasted cardio, I did 20 minutes every day first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. In order to up my cardio to lose more weight faster, I needed to eat first so I could go longer. So I went from doing 20 minutes on an empty stomach to a full hour of cardio on a full stomach. And the friends, doing these five things, I lost five pounds in one week. That's seven days. At the end of the week, I was five pounds lighter. I took my pictures and I was a lean, mean fighting machine minus the mean. You were also training uh, weight training, right? Like four times a week. I was also weight training four times a week. And the reason why I still kept a cheat meal in there is because I was eating so clean and so low fat and I was upping my cardio intake and I was still training as intense as I train not on a diet that I needed a cheat meal to keep me going. And everybody asks how tall are you and what weight did you go from to from, from the five pounds? So I was 155 pounds and it went to 150 pounds and I'm 5'4 and I usually wear a size medium if that does anything for you. <laughs> so I lasted my five pounds, I went in and then I went in my pictures and in probably in my house and then I went back to my normal diet because that is not sustainable but if I want to get lean mean fighting machine minus the mean for anything special occasion that's what I do and for any and any guys listening out there too like I do I eat obviously way more protein than Cole I'm six foot and like 250 pounds so I eat a lot more protein, but the method for me, what I do, the method is the same. I do lower fat, lots of cardio, but still keep in the carbs and a treat once a week. Yep, and so that was it. Again, we do not recommend doing this. This is what we did. This is not sustainable, but it's how I lost five pounds in seven days. Yes, I hope you enjoyed this. <sighs> Thanks for watching, do the stuff. Hit the bell, get on TikTok and Instagram, at the collects, like, subscribe, check out our weight loss guides and our fight through it gear in the links down below. <sighs> Love ya. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Whoa, you almost did the splits there. Yes. The collects out. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.